we're going to go for something a little bit conventional called radiotherapy and what is the outcome of radiotherapy for the treatment of prostate cancer. There are two ways of inducing radiation into the prostate which has cancer cells. One way is called external beam radiation. What it means is that the patient themselves will go to the hospital on a regular basis and also have this external beam radiation perhaps on a duration of six weeks and every time they will have five consecutive days followed by two days of rest. And something like that will probably require additional treatment of hormonal treatment. When we give patients hormonal treatment, we will shrink the prostate. And we know that shrinking the prostate with the help of external beam radiation, the success is significantly higher and the life expectancy of the patient is prolonged. Of course, the radiation in this way will have two side effects. Radiation itself will actually sometimes kill off the blood vessels and the, neuro um, the nerves of the prostate, making the erection a little bit more difficult. And the injections of hormone will also reduce a patient's libido and therefore patients need to be counseled for such treatment because the injection of hormone may be prolonged for a period of three years. Alternative to that, a more advanced way of dealing with prostate cancer with radiation is called brachytherapy. When the patient has got early onset of prostate cancer and they are not keen for surgery, we can put these seeds which contain radiation, which can exude more radiation within the locality of the prostate and actually enhance the uh, chances of cure. And these seeds are inserted into the prostate using the method of the planting the seeds under general anesthesia. And that seed itself will continue to irradiate the prostate over a period of two years or so. And under these circumstances, the patient's chances of getting problems with erectile dysfunction and low libido were significantly reduced. So, Apart from radical prostatectomy, radiation, both external beam and also brachytherapy are very, very useful in solving problems of prostate cancer, especially men who are not so keen on radical surgery. For the final week of November, I'm going to focus a little bit more on the correlations of prostate cancer with other conditions such as vasectomy. Stay tuned for next week's Putting Dr. G on the spot. <laughs>